Revan and Malik did not fall to the dark side in a single moment. They turned after years spent in war and in defiance of the Jedi Council. Revan and Malik's descent into darkness actually began with compassion. The compassion that compelled them to enter the Mandalorian Wars. Of all wars in Republic history, the war with the Mandalorians was the bloodiest, due in large part to the Mandalorian's ambitious leader. Mandalore the Ultimate sought to create the most powerful army in the galaxy. To achieve this, he had to defeat the Republic and its Jedi protectors. Calling together the Mandalorian clans and recruiting new warriors as Neo-Crusaders, Mandalore began conquering unaligned worlds in the Outer Rim. The Mandalorians fought Republic allies on many fronts, but the Republic military wasn't fully mobilized until Taris was threatened. In the first series of battles, the Republic proved victorious. Several heroes emerged, including the dedicated soldier and talented pilot, Lieutenant Karth Onasi. But Onasi and the rest of the Republic's defenders hadn't faced the true challenge. Mandalore the Ultimate was secretly holding the bulk of his forces back to test the Republic's strength. Unleashing their full might, the Mandalorians devastated the Republic's defenses and began terrorizing systems from the Tingle Arm to the Mid-Rim. The Jedi Council refused to be baited into the battle. Despite the Mandalorian's brutal aggression, the Council decreed that no Jedi should take part in the fight. As the war grew worse, however, a splinter group of rebels formed within the Order, determined to rally to the Republic's defense. The splinter group was led by Revan and Malak. Joining Onasi and the rest of the Republic's troops, Revan and Malak turned the war around. Revan led the Republic's forces in a powerful push to drive the Mandalorians from Republic space. In the final battle, Revan single-handedly slew Mandalore. He then activated a super weapon which destroyed an entire planet and everyone on it. Revan's act destroyed the Mandalorian armies and ended the war, but sacrificed the lives of thousands of Republic troops and Jedi in the process. With the war over, dutiful Republic soldiers like Karthanasi returned to their post, but Revan and Malak pursued the remnant of the Mandalorian armies into deep space. It was there, of course, that Revan and Malak found the Sith Empire, and upon meeting the Emperor, their fall to the dark side was complete. Though it became a boon to the Emperor's plan, None suspected that the Hand of the Dark Side played a role in the Mandalorian Wars. A closer analysis of history suggests otherwise. The story of Exar Kun in my next report. <laughs>